Support has been added to FeatureCam for bar-fed mills. These are turn mill machines that have a sub-work area that can be set at an angle to the main spindle. Manipulation of the sub is done through a new add-in that instigates the angle of the sub itself as well as providing cut-off operations that use milling tools. In this particular example we're going to look at the use of a Mazak Integrex I-150. So here I have my part component and you can see I've got a number of features already pre-created uh, and we're going to just play a quick 3D simulation to have a look at what the, uh, the part looks like. So you can see I've got some turning, a relief groove, some grooving, facing, hole drilling operation and then we can see we've got some extra work on the subspindle. So what we need to do is we need to transfer this part uh, from the main to the sub. So in this case what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lengthen the, the part. So I'm just going to make the uh, stop material 300 just so we've got some material to pull out of the main spindle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate these features here. Now in order to create these features uh, there's a couple of things that we need. First of all we'll need to load the add-in. So I've already got the add-in pre-loaded uh, that allows me to create these, uh, these rotational features. Likewise I've also loaded the post which in this case is my Mazak Integrex I-150. So to create the features I'm going to create a new turning feature, user defined feature and select rotate sub. Choose next. There's only a single dimension to change and in this case it's the sub angle. So I'm going to make this minus 90 and say set. I can then accept that and say finish. That creates my feature, so the rotate sub feature. And I can position that just underneath that hole. And then under the miscellaneous tab, I'm just going to set its priority to be 20. So now what will happen is it will run through this sequence and then rotate the sub to position. I'm going to play through these features, so we've got face milling, drilling, turning operation, relief groove, have the thread, second groove, and then a series of facing operations, spot drill, and then we have the drilling operation. So just zooming in, as we get to the end of the drilling operation, we can see the sub or the B sub has now rotated around ready to grab the part. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add a bar pull to this. So I can do this via the standard part handling feature. So I can go and select part handling, bar pull. In this case I'm going to set a grab distance. I've set this to 41. So this is the value just in between these two measurements here, the front and back of this uh, this uh, face machined area. I've got a pull distance of 110 which takes us uh, the part fully out. Again choose next. The other change we're going to make is I'm going to say leave supported to keep it within that, uh, that chuck so that we can machine the back of the component. Say finish. We've now got the bar pull feature. I'm going to again move this up to position and in this case I'm just going to edit the properties of this and again change the priority in this case set this to be 30. So I've now got two features so I've got my rotate and my bar pull. The final feature is another rotate so again go to a user defined feature rotate sub only this time I'm going to set the angle to be minus 180 to rotate the sub all the way round. So say set finish and again just editing the priority so setting this to be 50. I can then run through my machining sequence. This time we'll see the sub will rotate, come and grab the part, pull it out. Our groove operation is a milling operation that will cut off the part and then the sub will rotate to allow us to cut on the second setup. So there's my hole drilling, my turning, relief groove, threading operation, the groove and the facing, hole drilling, 
come and grab the part, pull it out, mill the cutoff, and then come in and do all the work on the SUP. So the final elements of the chamfers to complete the component.